bit naughty I'm a little bit too consumed But every part of my body Is telling me to run away from you Come a little bit closer Yeah What's kicking guys? Vinyl Vixen, Slim Shetty What's up guys? Here at Rap Sesh um, This week we are doing the long awaited What's in your tool bag? What's in your bag? What's in your bag, yeah. man? <laughs> uh, we haven't done an episode like this like since we started. So, no, we like that, two yeah. years. It's that was like one of our first episodes. We did like what's in your bag. And I think it's really beneficial because people that do over wrapping and you know the luxury kind of side of wraps always you know it's like the tools are everything. It's yeah, like super well important. you can't do your trade without your tools. That's Yeah, and everybody has different tools in their bag. I always love seeing the different tools that other installers are using and, and getting their feedback on them is super important. We're always trying out new tools and Definitely. we're always getting new tools. And, Dude, you know, we try out a ton of tools, I, like prototypes it's and awesome cause, you know, we test things and review them and yeah. it's really, really nice to kind of just hone in on what we really like using. And every install is different. When we go to commercial jobs, like we've just been doing a lot of flat installs lately um, and wet app we use a totally different set of tools so we're oh, yeah. always switching things out we actually have like multiple bags I at actually, the shop. yeah I have like two or three different bags that have different sets of tools and they're all different brands of tools because I like like everyone makes good things you know I like all what am so I trying many to say options. hold on I don't know I use a lot of different tools and they're all different brands they all great make different great tools so it's you know depending yeah. on the job. Yeah, definitely. We, like I said, we trade these out. Start first layer, measuring tape, other. Gotta have a measuring tape. We use a lot of different ones, but that's the one I have for now. What you got in there? Bl blade cage? I got a bag of Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a Geek Grabs uh, blade cage. There's a lot of different blade cages we have at the shop. Some of them are magnetic. Oh this one gosh. just happens to fit in my bag really well, but the entire mm -hmm. thing is Full. I should probably empty this. This is my blade cage. It's a hazard. Okay, it's about half full of, of little blades. Um, but you just break off the blade in here so you're not dumping them on the ground, which is really important because we have the dog here. Definitely. Well, and people. And people. people. Customers walking through and everything. Yeah. You don't Nobody want. wants to step on a blade. No. Um, cutters? You got cutters? I don't. I just have a. You zippy. have a few different. It's a, a Martor. These you can use to just cut the backing paper while it's still attached to the vinyl film. We've used these in lots of different episodes. Um, or you can use it to cut the film. And I think it's really easy. You just kind of drag wrap sticks. I have the different wrap sticks. I do, yeah. Yours. Well, this is, I, I think it's called a mother, I call it we a mother tucker. We a mother tucker. Yeah, it's called a wrap stick. Um, but these are magnetic. They're really cool. Really good for tucking under, you know, tiny little seals and stuff. Must have. Definitely a must have. Really detailed wrapping. Um, they have like 25 different kind of types and different flexibilities. These are Teflon metal ones. Also um, used for the same thing. I'm pretty sure this one's called the Lacy Tip HD and it has that Teflon coating. This one we probably use the most. This one works really great for the seal. That one has a really thin tip. Yeah, we could probably use a new one of these. Um, but and the then they have a couple different other this one versions. has like a little curved tip on it. It's hard to see probably, but a little bit thicker. Um, yeah. Depending on the seal. This is called the Lucky Flipper Pen Duo. It's a name. From who? From Yellow Tools. Oh. Yeah. This is good for like corners, going around edges. You can get this guy oh, a little. Fancy. Yeah. Go around, nice little tuck. Um, what's next? What I think these are the micro squeegees from Avery. Um, it comes yeah. in a red and a blue, but we also just. Those are like the same thing as something like this. Vastly different. Um, this one is um, PID Pro's newest wrap sticks or mini squeegees. I'm not sure what their actual name is. Really cool. Um, new wrap actually just sent these to us along with a couple other Paint is Dead products. So really excited to try these ones out. Um, these do wear down quickly, so you do have to replace them, you know, pretty they're consistently. Plastic. But I mean, they're like 10 to 20 bucks. It's, yeah. it's whatever. Yeah, this is kind of a tuck tool. A lot a of our bit. stuff that we use is like also repurposed some, tools. Yeah, some things we have in our bag, you kind of just make tools sometimes, you know. So these are actually from um, OXO, OXO. Uh, you can get it on Amazon. I think they're like dishwashing tools. It is. It's actually for dishing, washing dishes. We've shouted these out a ton of times in our videos. Um, this one is kind of a fatter gel tip. 
I don't use the brush so much, but never the use the brush. But these these we call it the finger. The uh, finger. You've probably have been heard that it's before. It's the finger. But it literally gets anywhere your Into, like, actual finger corners. cannot get. Yeah, so it's perfect. It's really nice for like 90 degree angles and stuff. And then this one's another one that one's that's just thinner. kind of a sharper tip. Yeah. Excel blades. Got a really little. It's got a curve on it. Nice little metal one. It's got two different sides. Ball tip. I like that one. Um, How about your, what kind of pen points do you have? Pens? The pens. Show me your pens. I have a couple different pens. This one is an Excel Blades all point, so it's just like a little pen poker. This works really great to get air um, that's trapped under the vinyl. If it's a, you know, you can't push it out with air release as well. This is a really cool one. Who is this from? Oh, this is that Excel is from Blades. Excel Blades. I love that thing. It doesn't even have their logo on it. Super though. dope. So this is actually a knife yeah. that pops out. Little tiny knife. Like little tiny knife. Really good if you're doing like small circles or somewhere really intricate. Super detailed work, yeah. Really cool. Tweezers? Got any pointy things? Ooh, I got a stick pen in here. Didn't um, even know that. Here are a couple different Tweezies? Excel blades. You know what? Sweet, or tweezers. <laughs> tweezers. Tweezies? They got a couple different ones. Um, shag Tools Sh has some really great ones I got a Shag well. one in here. Oh, that one's nice. A little black one, yeah. Yeah, Shag Tools is nice. Um, yeah, I guess we should have said we have our Shag bags. Yeah, our Shag bag. Yeah. Actually, we, this is the one I've been using the so, most. So Shag is actually Hexus, right? Shag Tools is based from Hexus. Based yes. from Hexus, yep. And they like just launched all their stuff recently. They yeah. sent us a huge box of things to try out. Squeegees, like wet app, dry app stuff. I, I, I like it. Yeah, Blades, cool stuff. everything. Yeah, it yeah. was really, really great. But I do actually really like their bag because it's pretty it's fun size. Slim, but it fits a lot. And it's got a lot of pockets and sleeves. Yeah, like I mean, I, I got a lot of tools in here. <laughs> yeah. So this one I use a lot, but you guys also see me use a fanny pack a lot. I like to use those. I have like one over the shoulder bag. Yeah. Well, I also have a. I've got the little armband things. Those are fun. Yeah. This is my. This is my clear bra bag, yellow yeah. tools bag. Yeah, we have a separate clear bra bag. We have like five tool bags. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, but moving on, how about um, your knives? Soft my blades. knives, blades. I got blades for so, days. I have like a blade from every brand in here because. <laughs> we well, we um, use a lot of different brands. We really like the Excel blades. That's probably primarily what we use, but we also have um, knives from yellow tools. So um, these are, we have yeah. some from. Who else? Uh, so Shag I have, tools. yeah, my my favorite one that I actually use mostly recently since we got these shag tools is their shag knife. The shag one's really shag nice. Shag blade. Yeah. yeah, it's super nice knife. Um, and then I, I really like using uh, black blades. I know a lot of people don't like using black blades because they're so sharp, but I feel differently. I feel like the sharper your blade, the better, the you, better can you can cut because you have no resistance yeah. and it's safer. The sharper blade is safer. Well, like always. with clear bra, when you're cutting on the clear bra, you're scoring it and it's very important to have a super sharp blade. Definitely. Like if you have a dull blade, you have to press harder. But don't ever take a carbon blade to a window because it will cut a window. So that's, true. that's the one thing, that's the one reason why a lot of people don't use them. So, what? I'm listening. Oh, <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was like. Well, you're like swinging that I'm thing not, around my face. You always get, I'm not like gonna you stab like you. To do this. Like, <laughs> hey, <laughs> please continue. <laughs> you're waving it around. I'm, it's not in your face. I really like those though. I also have a yellow tools blade in here, the yellow cut Sarah blade. It is a. Oh, um, I got it too. Wait, 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 wait. Ceramic blade. Really thick. Thick super blade. Super sharp. Not good for cutting like through vinyl, but very good for cutting surf on the surface of vinyl. Like if you're wanting to score cut something, awesome. This thing's legit. And it doesn't cut you for some reason. And same thing for me, I really like using the 30 degree black blades. I think the carbon blades are sharper and easier and I really like the 30 degree point. Yeah. Um, and, and it's Excel. a lot more. Can you show a regular? Well, this is this no, is regular. an Excel blade and it's also a 30. Um, this one's a regular. Okay, yeah, so look at the difference. So like you can get way deeper. So this is, what is this, a this. 40 degree? I, I think it's like 69. 60? Yeah, something like that. 60 something. Um, but that's a 30. Um, you can get, like she said, into a lot more tighter spots. Um, but I do use these, the steel blades, more for like around windows or around seals and stuff. A little bit 
safer to use, I guess. <laughs> they all have different clicks. This one, I actually, you know what? Since we're on blades, I've had this knife since day one. I always have had it in my bag everywhere I go. And it has survived for like nine years <laughs> in my bag. Pretty impressive. Yeah, never lost, never lost it. It's been, been used and abused. It's my favorite knife, my lucky knife. And moving on to squeegins. Squeegees? Squeegins. Um, I like a assortment, an assortment of these smaller ones. Uh, Geek Wraps makes these little picks. I don't know exactly what they're called. Fusion Tools also makes them. Um, they have two different sizes. Um, and then Yellow Tools, of course, they always have. I love Yellow Tools. Crazy stuff. I love Yellow Tools. Yeah, they, have, they have awesome squeegees. I think if I had to pick like my top three squeegees, I'd pick Yellow Tools, the Geek Wraps, and the Fusion Where's Tools. Where's that green one? Do you have one in there? Yeah, it's my okay. special one. That, it's actually my favorite. My favorite. No, it's, it's my, my favorite. favorite. No. Mine. <laughs> For me. No. Who has it in their bag? You, because you took it no. from me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> this one's wrapped in galaxy oil print. Well, this then what'd you mine. do with mine? Because I mine. know you took I mine. I don't have yours. I don't have yours. I have mine. That's why Kay. we wrap our stuff. That's my favorite so, squeegee. It's my favorite. <laughs> I also have other favorite squeegees. We have many favorites. So I also like this one. This is a really good one. This is actually an Oracle squeegee um, with a felt on there, actually from Japan. I forgot what the, I think it's called Rap Tech. Yeah, Rap Ten. Tech. So, and then I have, you know, a little fusion squeegee. Love these actually orange ones are really nice. Good shore. I um, love this one. This is the a shag, shag squeegee. Tools. Yeah, this one has a sharp edge and a round edge. So very neat. Yeah, this one both has round edges on it. Um, that actually has a Yellow Tools uh, Odessa, which they don't make anymore, and I'm upset about that. Odessa is my favorite one. What's my favorite my one. My favorite. What are you doing? It's the last tools? of its kind. Yeah. We only have a select few, and I'm hoarding them. Um, <laughs> Rab, Geek Rap, these are awesome squeegees. This is actually a wet apply squeegee. This is, yeah. yeah we so, use this a lot for the chrome, the boat that we did. Yeah. Um, definitely installing wet because it actually has another pad inside and they actually absorb water and hold it's like for quite a while. Be, yeah. It's meant to be wet, yeah. Great. Um, this is another Geek Wraps I think these too. Are also this is meant one of the, like, their main ones. I think it's optional. Because they have a double um, pad in there too and it actually feels really similar. So I believe these are actually a wet up squeegee as well. Can be. Um, yellow tools, I pretty much have the same things as you and then these. Yeah, those are awesome though, because I like the angle. Pro wraps. <laughs> you just don't like when I talk to you. <laughs> I don't like when you face me. <laughs> um, okay, so these are the pro wraps from Yellow Tools. These are probably one of our favorites because of the shape. Yeah. You can get into a lot more difficult angles and areas with these. You can get into like a 90 degree really easy. Mm -hmm. than... And then flex that real quick. This different one's a little colors bit harder. are gonna reflect the different shores. Yeah, that one's soft, but I like this that one. This is my one. favorite one, is the green with the Odessa. My all time favorite. I would say this combo. is probably my next favorite, though, the yellow. Second favorite? Yeah. Less favorite. For, Same for favorite. The shores, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, I think that's really that's all my bag for now. I got more stuff. I got a flashlight from, uh, this is actually Scan Grip, who actually makes all of the innovative tool stands that we have. Why? No, it's actually a, like a, it's supposed to um, resemble like daylight. So. Yeah, so like daylight. Does it feel like the sun? <laughs> Don't. Don't look into the sun. Wax pen, always a good thing to have in there for marking like uh, stripe kits and stuff like that. And then a, pretty much just a couple random pins in there. And my little squeegee. Yeah. Fun size. Little little. Yeah. For fun what is this, is a, this is a yellow tools squeegee. Look. Yeah. Same, same. Same, same. But different. But different. Yeah. These are some of the main tools, and you know. So, um, starting over here on the your left, um, we have just a couple other yellow tools. Like I said, they have a massive selection of squeegees. Whether you do like detail color change or you do sign and graphics or you know commercial they do a they lot of sign and graphic stuff for sure they have, they have everything some... you could possibly think of. yeah um so we have a couple of their wet app squeegees a ton of their dry app squeegees 
Um, we use a lot of their different um, sleeves for their squeegees as well. Like we were saying, the Odessa. Got some. These are just a couple of them. Got some gecko patches. Gecko patches are really cool. You can like stick these to glass and it makes a, a magnet point. So yep. you can like hang Or graphics. if you had an aluminum car that, you know, magnets weren't sticking to. This is to cut circles or, or like uh, sensors. Sensor, yeah, really sensor cool. Cutters. Kind of like a template. Um, you can use those for clear bra too, actually. I like that copper line. That's cool. Copper line. You use this to template out like anything. You put this really. around like an antenna or a handle or something that you're going to pre cut on a panel. Um, it makes it really easy. Even if you had like an inlay that you were like trying to get a perfect match, you can like inlay this mm -hmm. and get that perfect outline and then cut that piece. So yep. it's really nice. It just bends really well and it stays, holds that form. Okay, geek wraps. They have all those like wet and dry yeah. squeegees, really, really great. They have the smaller ones too, the little picks. One of my favorite things from them is their magnet strip. We use that thing all the time. We use this for like holding our phone for time Anything. lapses. <laughs> yeah. We use this on like full pool panels if you need a big section held down. I've like put this around me before to you hold. You can put tools on it. Squeegees. You can put it around your belt and actually a throw tools on. A lot of people's stuff is magnetic, so yeah. this is like great to have. Um, I think we have two of them. It's like pretty strong too. Like you can put oh, a torch on that. Strong. Like it'll, it's super strong. Yeah. Um, and then onto fusion tools. Um, for whenever we do like wet app or clear bra PPF installs, pretty much all of our tools are fusion tools. Um, yeah. They were the ones that kind of <laughs> originally helped us get into clear bra and like, you know, we did an episode where we had that training with they Daniel They came down Gill. did a little training with us. They, we had a private training and like we tried all their tools out and they, they really helped us get started yeah. in the clear bra. So Good people. Really, really good people. They have a ton of clear bra stuff. They also have Tinner's um, squeegees and they have- Well, they just came out with their new the line of squeegees. Line. So now yeah. they have the, the you know vinyl squeegees as well. Yeah, which are great. They're awesome squeegees. You can use them wet or dry. Um, All the different colors are gonna reflect how much flexibility is in here. And like, like we said, it's really important to have a lot of variety because every install is different. Every car is different. Every material is different. So you need to have those different options. Um, one of my favorite things from them is the, uh... The handy. It's the hand job. No, it used to be called the hand job. Now it says it's a handy. handy, but it was called the hand job, and I like that better. I think we still have an old hand job laying around. This is cool, though. <laughs> um, you can put a bunch of their different squeegees in here, and then it's also magnetic. And this is a really nice grip for your hand. It kind of... Keeps you from getting like that arthritis, like carpal tunnel kind of feel. It's a good grip, yeah, and it keeps really it flat. Really good grip. <laughs> it keeps it flat because, well, because like, say you were trying to use a squeegee like this, and your fingers don't keep it flat because you're you're, you're pulling, not putting, you're not putting pressure a consistent pressure through that squeegee, so you get water. And this by. is like way, it's way more consistent. Definitely. So really nice having the handle pieces. They have all sorts of different things. These are cool too. Are these called like the hard cards? I like these. The Hornet. These are double sided, so the, like different I said, shore on each side. different colors reflect the different durometer, I think is the yeah. name for these. Um, so like the black side is really hard, whereas the yellow side is really flexible. So it's like two squeegees in one, really cool. Yeah, I like these things. Well, I missed it. These are... Dom. Like the 90s things, 90s bracelets. They're different. Flat bracelets, they're super cool, but they're awesome for like, Say you have some clear bra that you have rolled up and you want to, you know, just keep yeah, it these tightly rolled up. Yeah, these a bunch of small rolls, really nice. And it also, big ones. also has little lines right here so you can like label them, like tint. You can put the percentage of what, you know, so you don't get. It's like a, a labeled roll yeah. holder. Yeah, super or cool. Or a fun bracelet. Oh, or a bracelet. Oh my God. Um, this um, stuff. This stuff is one of our other favorites from them. It's called All Type um, Solution. It's a mounting like wet app solution. You can use this for a clear bra, you can use this for a window tint, you can use it for wet app vinyl, you can Frost. use it for frost. Um, and it, it is very down to the science as far as the ratios and everything. There's a bunch of different ones on the back. Mm -hmm. But it's a lot better to use, I think, than like detergents like dish soaps and baby soaps because there's a lot of things in there that you don't actually need yeah. to do that wet up install. So this is like the bare minimum, you know, that, that slip that you need without having detergents or anything like that in it. Yeah. Plus, so, it's always on your hands and everything. You don't want that stuff always, you yeah. know, all those and chemicals you on your hands. You use actually all the time. a lot less liquid when you're using this as opposed to when we were installing Clear Bra with like baby soap. 
Yeah, yeah. Like a lot. I less. mean, we've yeah. This is a nice, nice uh, bottle. We've actually had this bottle for a little while. It lasts quite a while. It does. Yeah. So, um, can you also show that keg really fast? Oh yeah. So, this is what we use. This is what we put this in. So, this is our keg, which was made by. Autofilm Solutions. Autofilm Solution in Colorado. Kevin. Kevin. Kevin, What's up, Kev? my man. So, they uh, built this one for us. Was, uh, I think they had a leftover one laying around. Wait, side note. He was our first trainer for Clear Brow for House's yeah. Body Fence. Yeah. And, uh, but we've like been cool for a long time. Yeah. So, he kind of made this one for us, wrapped it up. Dope little wrap sesh wrap. And then... So we use this with the wet app solution and we yeah. use this when we do our clear bra. Nice and little high powered sprayer. You don't sprayer. have to freaking spray, 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 spray. No, it's so nice because you're not pumping the can entire you, can time. Can you make that spray real quick? Not, it's oh, nothing it's in empty. It. Okay. It's empty. It's empty. But it has a little air in it because I was just using it. Um, but yeah, you pretty much just throw the fluid in here. I think it'll hold up to like four or five gallons, I think. Yeah, man. Um, but yeah, this thing's awesome. And plus, since you can get a nice high pressure in this, it's really nice because you can like blow stuff out. Say you had like dirt or something and underneath your, you know, mm -hmm. underneath your clear bra. So awesome tool to have. Definitely useful. And then we have one of my other favorites from Fusion Tools is their Afterburn silicone tape. That stuff's um, awesome. This tape, you see it on our heat guns. You see it on our torches. Um, this is a self-adhering silicone tape that's meant to prevent you from burning yourself. These tips are always really hot, especially right here. Um, and I burn myself on a heat gun a lot. All the time. All the time. It, not so much my torch, but this yeah. is a nice... Honestly, I burn myself on a heat gun more than I've ever done yeah, on a torch. Yeah, I think you say that all the time. Yeah. But uh, this is definitely a skin saver. And not only that, if you, you know, drop this on its side or anything like that and it hits the wrap, it's kind of like... As keeps long, it from scraping. As long as you keep it nice right around the edge here, it, it does give it a little bit of a buffer just a buffer. in case. Yeah, because yeah, it's kind of gooey and mm -hmm. super nice. It lasts a long time. Like, we don't really replace this very often. No. Um, and then this is also their Max Flux heat gun that they just released last year, uh, which already comes with the afterburn tape on it and then the remainder of that roll too. So onward, um, like we said, Excel blades, we use a ton of their blades. I don't have them all here, but I wanted to show you guys um, two of their kind of newer craft tools that we've been playing around with that I really like. They're just cutters. Um, this is a scissor. I don't want to tell you the model name because I'll probably get it wrong but it's just a locking scissor. It locks, there you go. This thing is awesome. Oh, yeah. can you get that up there, Cole? Do you see it's it? It's got a little safety like a cover on there. Door. Yeah, so like when you have that closed, obviously you can't cut anything. It's like a fun size pizza cutter And then it's like, vinyl. pow, live. Oh my gosh. And it's super sharp. Yeah, you just roll this through, cuts awesome. It's like a little pizza cutter. Yeah, man. Awesome. And then yeah, I've got a couple couple of their blades. 30 degrees here. We also use. They a have lot. a stupid amount of like specialized yeah. knives and craft tools that work really really great with vinyl. So I highly recommend checking them out. They're made in the USA. It's Excel blades. Yep. And Everyone's probably seen the Exactos. The Exacto knives. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Um, and then last but not least, one of my special. There you go. Rolly Pro! Rolly Pro. This is like a must have so, thing. Yeah, we use that thing all the time. Like, Rolly Pros are dope. Have this. But this is their new thing. Their new squeege. And their new thing? Yeah, so this, this, I mean, I would say this would be great for walls, like well, any kind of massive flat it's surface. It's not a you guess, have. like we've used it for walls. No, no, we yeah, definitely use them. We installed but, dry erase film on some walls with it. Uh, we just did some crates, metal crates that big we Big metal crates, you know. It, this was great. And you have like such a massive, you know. Uh, it's good for masking stuff too. Yeah. When you're masking out. Masking decals. tables, yep. You can run it right through. Yep, and then this is just a little bit smaller version. It's got a nice handle on it. And it actually, what how you replace it is there's just a little latch on the back here. Oh, there you go. And it slides out. Just pretty much like any squeegee, squeegee any squeegee will fit in this, but it has to be a long one for this one, of course. But like this, you could technically throw any squeegee that would fit in there. Well, so like that's a very specific size. Like this would actually fit in there. You can't See? mix. You can. They told me you can pretty much put any anything you want in there. Um, but yeah, they they have their own that it comes with, and then yeah, it just kind of clicks right in. 
just like a nice handle and it really, I mean, it's a good grip for sure. Yeah. And then Rolly Pro is a foam roller. Um, we use this on walls. We use it for post keeping as huge um, rivets. It works great. So we use this in the color change, detailed stuff, as well as our commercial jobs. So really nice to have. A lot of this stuff you can get at um, Fellers is where we buy a lot of our things. Um, um, yeah, I guess one last thing is gloves. I mean, gloves are a huge thing. We use gloves. Um, I don't like white gloves because they get so dirty. I, yeah, they do get dirty, but these gloves are so awesome. These ghost gloves, is I, this is my favorite. This is what I use. Um, this is an Oracle one, got from my, I think we got this from our certification class. Um, but yeah, it's just a nice dry slide um, glove and it really helps when you're pushing out stuff with your palm. If you need to get a nice recess, this, these, are, these are great. You can like rub out some you know, bubbles and stuff with that without actually harming the film. I think all the different brands of gloves that we use, we probably prefer the dry slide ones. So those are ones that you don't, you shouldn't have to spray a buffer spray or yeah. liquid or anything because it's made out of a certain kind of material that's just like super slick and it slides and glides and you don't have any friction. Um, as compared to like the more original, you know, wet gloves, yeah. like like this is a wrap glove. We still wet. use these yeah. all the time too, but these, these are a little bit smoother. And I actually use this when I clear bra too. Yeah, the, it's, we do. The dry slide is actually really nice for clear bra. When you're actually like, say you're doing some edge guards or something, just like throwing them down, you can literally put this glove on, mm -hmm. wet it, and you don't even need a squeegee or anything. You just right. throw, run your thumb right down the edge of the door and it's done like super yep. quick. So we have like PID Pros, we have Wrap Glove Ghost, my super glove over there. This is one of like my favorite gloves. It's a very different material from most gloves, but I really like it. And um, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna suggest. Oh, here's a really cool tape measure. This thing's awesome. Super weird, but I love it. And I like how it doesn't Throws have. by the inch. <laughs> I said it. I, it. I like how it doesn't have a hook. So like when, say I'm doing stripe kits on cars and stuff. Yeah. I can like lay this out on the hood without it actually like scratching with the end here. But this is also a yellow tools um, tool. Yep. Yeah, really cool. Huge thank you to you guys for watching today. If you liked this video and you wanna see more of our tools in depth um, for specific installs, make sure to comment below and let us know and we might do another one. Um, huge thank you to all of the companies, um, the different tools we've displayed and talked about today. Yeah. Um, we use a massive variety of tools and we thank you for you know supplying those tools. Yeah, and, and having such great products and we really wouldn't, you know, promote something or say we like something unless we really did. And that's super important to be really authentic and genuine about our reviews. And this is what we really have in our shop and that we use on a regular basis. Well, I wouldn't have it in my bag if I didn't like it. Yeah, man. So. Um, so if you guys want to keep up with our daily fun, make sure to follow our Facebook and Instagram. That's Rap Sesh AZ, Final Vix and Raps. Uh, we also have our TikTok account, Rap Sesh AZ as well. Um, please, please, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you dig the rat sesh vibe. Mm. I can't dance on the table. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.